I've stabbed people. I've dismembered them. I've killed people in unthinkable ways. I've actually murdered more people on film than any actor in history. But I'm not such a bad guy. This great big story is made possible by GEICO. Happy GEICOween! 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. I'm Kane Hodder. I'm an actor and a stuntman. I've been a stuntman, a stunt coordinator in over 170 films, countless number of TV shows. I never really had much recognition until I played the character of Jason in Friday the 13th, part seven, eight, nine, and 10. When I first put that hockey mask on as Jason, it felt right. Based on those performances, I was cast to play Victor Crowley in the Hatchet films. The stunt background helped tremendously in me developing some of the terrible characters I played. What a weird thing to say. In my first year in the stunt business, I had a fire stunt that did not go as planned. I got burned over half of my body. The process in the hospital was excruciating. Five and a half months in the hospital, and I was very depressed. And while I was in the burn unit, saw someone come in to visit the staff who was a former patient. And I saw him looking happy and laughing and having fun. And that completely turned me around. And I started having a much more positive attitude. And I never even met the guy. Hi, guys. Because of that, knowing how much it helps to talk to or see or just be with someone that has been burned themselves. Hang in there, pal, OK? I try to visit people and burn units as often as I can because it was crucial in my recovery. So if I can help somebody the same way, I'm happy to do so. The movie right before this, yeah. when Jason's on fire, yeah. that was me. And that's probably one of my favorite stunts I've ever done. At first, when I started doing horror conventions, I think people were kind of surprised that given the characters that I have played, that I was actually a nice guy. Pretty much any actor will tell you the people that play the most horrific, violent characters, those are the people that are very nice in real life. It's rewarding and somewhat exciting to know that I strike fear into people's hearts. Hopefully that doesn't come off strange, but that's the whole point. If your performance evokes emotions in the audience, then you've succeeded. People tell me that they were terrified at certain things that I did, and I'm like, good, that's how it was supposed to be.